Okay, this is video one for Dana, her 11 questions for dad. First question I believe is, what was the happy time that we had together? The first thing that keeps coming to mind is when you would come down um, to Wilmington, I don't remember if it was with Robin or if it was with, um, with when I was with Hope, but I think it was with Robin. And we went to the beach, and I think it was overcast, and the waves were big, and you and I got beat it to death, or beat to death in the waves, and we ended up going down further and further and further on the beach because the waves kept pushing us. That was a blast, and that's what pops into my head. So that's question number one. More to come. Number two, what's one story you don't know about me? You're probably thinking some fun thing or something or other I did, but the first thing that pops in mind, um, this past Thanksgiving, which was a Thursday, so, well, we were closed for work, but Thursdays was my regular day to go to the grocery store. So I go to the grocery store to pick up a couple things like I normally do, and I'm in this line and there's a couple people in front of me and there's a person here and then there's an older woman um, in one of those electric carts she's pulling up and I'm just noticing everybody and saying hello well when the older lady gets up to the register I hear the um, the, the clerk say um, I'm sorry ma'am this, this is no cash you have to use a card she had one of those old leather little bitty zippered pouches that she kept money in. And, and she was like, what? And the lady repeated, she said, I'm sorry, ma'am, this is, this is, you can't use cash. It has to be um, card. And I'm kind of standing there looking at the lady and I'm like, I said, excuse me, ma'am. And she looked at me. I said, is that the only thing you have? And she had a bottle of Wesson oil. That's the only thing she had in her cart. She said, what? And I said, is, is that the only thing that you're checking out? And she said, yes. I said, hang on. I grabbed it. On mine, I was checking out. I put it down. I said, ring this. She rang it. I put it back in her cart and said, that's paid for. Happy Thanksgiving. And she looked at me with the biggest smile. And she said, well, that is very nice of you, young man. And she rode her cart out. And it dawned on me that day, and I actually wrote a poet on the way home, if we just do one thing nice for somebody every day, man, the world would be a better place. And I don't even know what it cost, but it wasn't that much. And it wasn't about that. It was just about helping somebody out. So there's my story I don't think you knew about. To be continued. Okay, we changed locations because my battery was going dead. Uh, third question, what was the thoughts when you first found out you were going to be a father? Well, your mom and I, I don't think we were living together yet. I think I was still in my apartment, which I ended up um, Jack taking over. And then Ronnie Pierce and I went on a couple week trip to North, Car uh, to North Carolina, funny enough. And we went to Myrtle Beach and we went to... Topsail Beach, I think. Um, anyway, it was on that trip when I was sitting on the beach one day that I thought, I think I'm ready to have a child. So when we get back home and I'm talking to your mother and I said, so if we had a baby, would the baby have your last name or my last name? And she said, well, if we were married, it would have your last name. If we weren't, it would have my last name. So I think that's when I said, well, let's get married. And there the next week, I believe it was, we got married by the Justice of the Peace. So it was like a long thing in coming. And um, it just sounded like the right time to do it. Um, I was, what, all of 22 or 23, I guess. And... Um, it just sounded like the right thing to do. So that was my first thoughts about being a father. To be continued. What do you enjoy most about being a father?
I guess it would be when my children, you and Eric, and I happen to be on the same wavelength, in the same place, and we understand each other, and there's no animosity or anger or frustration involved, and we're just, you know, mellow together. That's, that's really cool. Because it's like a good friend, and then I realize these are my kids, and that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But you got to be a father to do that. To be continued. What is the nicest thing you've ever done for me? You've done so many nice things, but the one that stands out right now is when you surprised me on my 50th birthday at the beach. I'm sure you know this story, but maybe you don't. Um, that was really cool. Um, that um, Tom and Shirley picked you up at the airport and then came there. Um, and again, I think you know this story, but Hope and I were driving there. And it was a long drive for us. It was like eight hours or some crazy stuff. But halfway into the trip, um, something came on the, a commercial on the radio. We've been listening to their music on the radio, and there was a commercial for some product. I don't remember if it was a drink or a snack or something like that. And Hope just blurts out, "You know, I was going to get some of that when Dana and Mom and Dad were with us." And she just kind of looked the other way, and I'm driving, and I went, "Excuse me." She goes, "What?" I said, "What'd you just say?" And she went, oh my God, oh my God, no, don't tell Dana I messed this up, um, which I just thought was hilarious. So yeah, when you were there at the beach for that time, for my birthday, that was darn cool. To be continued. Okay, I think I forgot to hit record. Um, what would you want or wish for your kids? And again, that's an easy one, to be happy. I don't have to understand what makes you happy, who you're with, what you're doing, but as long as you're happy. If, as long as you have um, happy, joy, fun in your day, every day, that's, that's incredible. Um, yeah, and, and then you're true to yourself. Being true to yourself and you're happy, joyful, and having fun, I think that's what we're all here for. So that's what I would wish most for my kids to be able to say that they are to be continued. What are the best and worst parts about getting older? Well, the worst part is pretty simple. Um, even though in my head I'm 18, my body keeps going, oh no, you're not. So, you know, aches and pains and things of this situation, colonoscopies, um, just how, you know, it, healing takes a little bit longer. Um, so that's not great. Um, the fact that people that you know, relatives, family, friends, you know, pass away while you're still going. Um, you know, that's not a great thing about getting old. Um, what's a good thing about getting old? Um, memories, um, a little more wisdom, maybe, um, yeah, it's, um, you know, seeing the kids grow up and then seeing their kids grow up and then going to their kids' weddings, um, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. To be continued. What were the first few days of fatherhood like? Well, immediately I pictured myself in the hospital. I know you know the story, but I was in um, scrubs, blue scrubs. And after you were born, which I witnessed, which was crazy and cool at the same time. And then, um, you know, I asked them how much it was going to be for the scrub. And they said they couldn't sell them. I said, well, yeah, but if you don't sell it to me, I'm going to steal it. And they said, well, we can't sell it. So I stole it. Um, 
It was just a, it's hard to explain, crazy euphoria of OMG. We just created this child. Um, and it, it was exciting and scary all at the same time. Um, I think right at first it was more exciting, um, less scary, you know. Um, but yeah, and, and then watching the process of growing, even in the first couple days, that was pretty cool, pretty cool. To be continued. What have you learned about love and what has it taught you? Wow. Wow. Love is a four-letter word. And being in love is... Putting yourself out there, you don't even know it. And if it goes away, then you know it. Um, and what I've learned over the last several years is I need to be my best. So if I come across another person, I'm presenting my best. I don't know that I've done that in the past. Um, but it's a beautiful thing. And as Alan McGraw said in Love Story, love means you don't have to say you're sorry. I think that's what she said, which, I don't know, it was weird, but it just came to mind. To be continued. What was the moment I felt most proud of you? A couple things come to mind. One, graduating high school. Um, because I wasn't there for your whole high school. And to come back and watch you do that, that was, that was cool that you were able to do that um, on your own with, you know, mom's help, obviously. Um, that was, I was pretty proud about that, that you um, kind of turned yourself around from a little bit of a rebel into, uh, you know, accomplishing that. And I have to say a second time was the last time you went to rehab and came out and stuck with it. I mean, I know that that was a lot and, and I was very proud of you then and, and uh, I still am. And I guess the third time was when I presented you the three year, your three year medallion last December. So thank you for doing that, for doing it for you. And uh, I'm proud of you for that. To be continued. What's the one thing I want you to remember after I'm gone? Be true to yourself. Um, I'm going to use a quote that I just saw on Ted Lasso's show. And his therapist said, The truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. Um, but be true to yourself, you know. Um, expand, explode, um, do things. Never think that you're too young or too old, I mean, to do something. And don't care what other people say. There's that, they have their thing. You know, the, the best thing is to live your life the way you know your path is and don't make excuses for it. Um, be happy, as I said before, and be yourself. And you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. You don't, you're not here to make other people happy. So make yourself happy and it will come. You know, it will come. So that's what I have to say. I hope you've enjoyed this. I love you.